Hello everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management tutorial, I'm going to talk about more Jira project administrator functionalities for service management project. So here I am, if you go to the project, so open any of the service management project, and then to go to the project settings, we scroll down and come to the project settings, right? So in the project settings, we have covered up to the external resources, okay? Now, the next thing or the next link that you will see is around the incident management. So basically, when we say incident management section here, it will allow you to, or as a project manager, allow you to configure incident management capabilities, what all the team will be able to to do who will be notified accordingly right so if you see this particular field here okay let me minimize this and you will see incident management fields the first thing all right now in the fields incident management fields we have the responders okay when we say responders so what responder field will help you to do is it will allow multiple responder teams and individuals to be added to an incident right so as a project administrator you can go ahead and add a responders field to your service project okay so we'll understand how you can add the responder field but briefly let's understand what all incident management fields are and then we'll discuss them one by one okay or configure them one by one so responders field and then you have the chat channel right so what exactly the chat channel is you can streamline your incident communications collaborate efficiently so basically say for example you want to have a dedicated chat channel for a particular incident okay you want to give a quick call you want to integrate teams into your service management project or zoom right or other any other chat application you can go ahead and do it and that will enable the chat functionality for a particular application for a particular incident or the request and the team or the internal team who is working on it can go ahead and create a quick chat quick video call quick or quick audio call to discuss on that particular issue and resolve it right so that's the benefit of having the chat channel I'll cover it separately how you can configure chat channel okay then we have stakeholder communication very important right so in the service management the SLAs need to be met right and stakeholders need to be across what's going on for the critical issues so you can you can control the communication that need to happen to the stakeholder so who need to be informed about the incident status right so you can control all of that you can add and manage internal stakeholders then you can also link alerts so basically who will be alerted based on what statuses that you can see the alerts right so if you if i click on the alerts you will see okay that's the knowledge base article let me close it but then i'll show you how you can link the alerts as well then major incidents right so mark jira service management incident as major for increased visibility right so you can basically you can add a major incident field to your service project as well to mark the incident as a major incident okay then the second option here you will see is the responder alerts okay now when you enable this responder alerts what it will do is it will basically automatically alert the people who are assigned a particular request okay and then you know added as a responder or owns a service so basically anyone who is owning the service they'll be they'll be alerted and responded accordingly right so responder alerts will automatically be created when someone is assigned added as a responder right so for example here right so if i am the person whom a ticket has been assigned but i also i have added another person from my team who is work who is working along with me as a responder then they'll they'll get alert that you have been added as a, added, added as a responder if you enable this if you disable this toggle button then these alerts will be disabled right so the good idea is to keep them enabled so every everyone who is added as a responder gets alerted right then you have the alert priorities so what priorities you want to be assigned so if i click on that you will see that in if incident priority is highest what should be the alert priority it will be you know whether it's critical or high so you can define that from these alert priority and based on these alert priorities the alert will be triggered who will be notified accordingly right so this is automatically allocated here but if you want to change it you can change it from the drop down here as per your project need and then simply click on assign okay i'll cancel it as of now 
so that's about the alert priorities or what configuration are available for alert priorities then we have the communication preferences right this is where i was telling that you can connect your external communication software the chat and call software for example slack or uh, microsoft teams or zoom right so you can simply go ahead and configure and i'll create separate videos to configure team or add teams in jira service management project so whenever there is a request in jira service management project and the agents are working on it and there are multiple agents working on a particular issue they can quickly go ahead and start a call right from the issue and communicate and talk and resolve that particular issue so any of any one of these whichever your team is using you can go ahead and connect and configure whether it's zoom or slack or microsoft team then we have post incident reviews right so pirs are the reviews that are done after the incident has been fixed what was the root cause and the learnings from the team so there is a default incident review template that is there and these post incident reviews can then be automatically saved into a confluence space and below the parent page that you allocate that you select for the post incident reviews to be saved right so these are some of the settings that are available in the incident management section now in the next video we will understand about configuring these fields okay for example responder and chat channel how we are going to configure as a project administrator and then use it and how it looks when we configure all of this and use or team starts using these incident management fields and configuration so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching